फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द एडमिसिबिलिटी ऑफ ए कन्फेशनल स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द एक्यूज रिकॉर्डेड अंडर सेक्शन सिक्सटी सेवन ऑफ द एन डी पी एस एक्ट वॉज एग्जामिंड बाय दिस कोर्ट इन द केस ऑफ तूफान सिंह सुपरा एंड इट वॉज लेड डाउन दैट सच कन्फेशनल स्टेटमेंट्स आर नॉट एडमिसिबल इन एविडेंस हैंस द स्टेटमेंट एग्जिबिट फोर्टी टू ऑफ अनवर खान ए वन वेयर इन ही अलेजली आइडेंटिफाइड द अपीलांट फिरदोस खान ए टू एज द पर्सन हु हैड एस्केप्ड फ्रॉम द स्पोर्ट कैन नॉट बी रेड इन एविडेंस अगेंस्ट द अपीलांट फिरदोस खान ए टू बिकॉज द मैनर इन विच द सेड स्टेटमेंट वॉज रिकॉर्डिड लिवस मच टू बी डिजायर्ड एंड क्रिएट्स अ ग्रेव डाउट ऑन द सेंटिटी देयर ऑफ इन एडिशन टू द सेम हैविंग रेंडर्ड inadmissible by virtue of tofan singh supra the prosecution witness deepak parik pw2 claimed that firdos khan a2 was apprehended from shahajapur police station madhya pradesh however no document pertaining to the apprehension detention of appellant firdos khan a2 at the shahajapur police station was placed on record by the prosecution thus the very manner in which the said accused was apprehended and brought to the ncb office at ahmedabad in the purported exercise of recording his statement under section 67 of the ndps act is full of doubt and creates grave suspicion even otherwise the confession of the accused recorded under section 67 of the ndps act can not be admitted in evidence as a confession as had been held in the case of tofan singh supra hence the confessional statement exhibit 42 does not lend any succor to the prosecution in its quest to prove the charges against the accused firdos khan a2 the witness vikram ratnu pw3 identified firdos khan a2 as the person who had escaped from the sport when he testified on oath however we feel that the first time identification of firdos khan a2 by vikram ratnu pw3 is not trustworthy and reliable we may observe that as per the case set out in the complaint and the evidence of the ncb officials the team of narcotic officers officials was divided into two groups however it is not clear from the evidence of any of the four prosecution witnesses as to what was the composition of these two groups neither the panch witness mannu bhai pw1 nor the intelligence officer deepak parik pw2 identified firdos khan a2 as the accused who had escaped from the bus stand in this background we feel that the first time identification of firdos khan a2 by vikram ratnu pw3 during his evidence in the court recorded on 14th february 2005 that is more than 2 years from the date of incident is dubitable the evidence of vikram ratnu pw3 to the extent he claimed to have identified firdos khan a2 is neither reliable nor it gets corroborated by any other independent evidence and hence his evidence deserves to be discarded to this extent there is no dispute that no contraband substance was recovered from the possession of appellant firdos khan a2 resultantly the conviction of firdos khan a2 as recorded by the trial court and affirmed by the high court cannot be sustained and he deserves to be acquitted by giving him the benefit of doubt as a consequence of the above discussion the following order is passed criminal appeal number 2045 of 2010 filed by appellant anwar khan a1 lacks merit and is hereby dismissed he is on bail his bail bonds are cancelled he shall surrender before the trial court within 30 days to serve the remaining part of sentence 
failing which the trial court shall take steps to apprehend the accused and make him serve out the remaining sentence stop